A black swan, black swan, stand up tall when you're singing, cause you're singing for me, my man. My man. Oi. I was floating down this river and looked out the side And I saw all this land get took And yeah, I'm sick of all these white fellas thinking that they know better <laughs> When they knew never Yeah, and man, I stand up for what I believe That's the answer, question time Freedom of speech with a plan, but that's why I stand Pants down with my hands up, bruh I get asked about three times a week If I'm Aboriginal, but see Don't matter what the colour of your skin Where you're being, brother Written in my blood, black history, brother And I can feel it, man, the energy, the synergy You mimic me, deep down the truth is you're sick of me Napalina, Kuparuna, Niara I'm from a Tulumpanga, Larapuna, yeah, Luchuwitsa Love for Larakia and NT Noongas West, Kuris, Murrays All that love for all the Ghana mob in SA They understand what I say, cos I talk like a we spoke a lot about mental health. Unfortunately, Isaac passed away before we were we were even trying to implement certain things, certain changes. Um, so together, yeah, with Rella, we we started Make Runs Maxi, and um, it's just the start. Ladies and gentlemen, Rella Kelly. Thanks for that. I want to share a story to to begin with, and I'm sitting in my room playing my guitar and. Uh, my dad walks up and he sits down next to me and he tells me that my uncle, my uncle Leroy, um, has sadly passed away. My uncle Leroy is a strong cultural man from far north Queensland, a song man and a law man. Uncle Leroy was present at my birth. He was, he was there the day that I was born and uh, he's the person who gave me my identity, Wabana or Rala. Um, and his story of his passing is one of heartache. And uh, he walks along the bridge in Hobart. And he looks out and he takes a step over. And just like that, a life is lost. And the reason why I tell that story and its significance is before it, I had no concept of suicide or mental health and what comes with it. We're on a mission to save lives. And the more I learn about mental health, it's clear to me that it isn't just an individual problem that a certain individual is confronted with, but more so a greater problem that we face together as a society. I am so stoked about and so proud of what Rulla is doing tonight. I haven't heard him speak in public like that before. I just am so um, proud of the young man. Life is a lot of challenges, and Rulla has dealt with some pretty significant ones. Never take it for granted. No. Yeah. <laughs> Love our son. Love our son. Absolutely we do. All up, I come and sit in this chair 24 times over 57 days, and I'm at day 57 today, so I'm feeling pretty uh, keen, feeling pretty good, pretty joyful. I'm looking forward to one, growing my hair back. I'm also looking forward to getting my taste back, but uh, more importantly, I'm looking forward to just enjoying life and getting back to. Uh, it's knocking things out of the park and spending time with you know, loved ones, family, friends, um, just having fun, enjoying life, smiling. So I just got out of the hospital, got the results. They're all good. I'm gonna call dad, tell him. If 
the answers. Hello, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. It's Rulla, your son. Hey. <laughs> how are you going? Yeah, I'm well. How are you? How'd you go? Double thumbs up. Oh, that is fantastic news, <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? Oh, good is that? So so happy. Bit of sweet that you guys aren't here, but take the good with the bad. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, Ralaha. I love you. So proud of you. Oh, love you too. Miss you. Miss you a lot, darling. Woodica. Woodica. Bye. Love you. Bye. So good. I moved to Adelaide about 18 months ago, like, to play football and to work as well, but this has set me back with footy, so now I can actually, you know, have a clear run at it. So I'm looking forward to comeback story, 2021. Let's get it.